Hello and good morning everyone. Um, I wanted to pop on here kind of real quick to explain how I do my turkeys because people ask all the time how I prepare them and this is a non-edited video so we're literally going to be just rolling right through this. So it's kind of a interesting thing here. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm showing you parts and pieces here but so what, what I usually do is first get the turkeys ready, the usual way. Let me go back over here. And you clean up the turkey, you know, pull out all the the bags and things that are in there, the neck, neck bone and things like that. And then I dump it into a pot. Now I prepared a lot of this last night. Today is Thanksgiving day, but we added two more turkeys. So there's some fresh neck bones and things in the, uh, in this. This will be end up being the gravy, but I also use it for my stuffing, right? Uh, so I don't have to use uh, chicken broth. I use turkey broth instead. So what I do is I um, get the turkeys ready, as I said earlier, um, lay them out in the pans, and then I pour olive oil all over the turkey. And what's that? What is that? That is doing? It's like a um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't use it for myself, but what is that stuff called? Keep you from getting a sunburn, basically. It's kind of a uh, sunburn protection. In this case, an oven protection. It protects the turkey. It seals it. It keeps the skin from burning while it's in the oven. I also set my ovens at the highest point, which in this case is 500. And I only leave it at 500 with the turkeys in there for 15 minutes. And that kind of seals the outside of the turkey again. And it keeps the moisture in. Then I turn it down to 350 and let it do its thing. I also separate the larger turkeys from the smaller turkeys. There's the smaller turkeys, there's my larger turkey, and there's a large one way over there. And that way I can keep track of my cooking times. So we're doing six. Afterwards, I get the stuffing ready. We have two stuffings. We have the stuffing that goes in the turkey, and we have the stuffing that goes here. Um, the usual stuff goes in your stuffing. There's many recipes, but I'll show you what I do differently. Uh, you can see there's carrots, there's the uh, breadcrumbs. We actually make our breadcrumbs here. Old bread goes into the big mixer, which is somewhere over there. I then crush up that, that bread and then throw it into a, a big bowl. Uh, so what we got? Celery, carrots, onions go into here, and then the breadcrumbs. Mix that in and then start adding your favorite seasonings. In this case, I'm using, what seasonings am I using here? I'm using uh, Thai. You can either use ground or the leaves themselves. Try to use fresh would be better. Um, I'm using monk's choice because, you know, monk. Um, you can also use Lauris seasoning. It's a really good one. It has a little bit of sugar. I can't remember. I think this one has a little bit of, may not have sugar in this one. Yes, it is. And usually on the Lauris, it's a higher content of sugar. This one doesn't have the high content. And then, of course, pepper. That's mainly what goes into the stuffing. Uh, there's a few other things. I do add a little bit of this garlic herb. Um, a lot of the stuff you can make yourself, but I find it easier just to buy it. And this is my favorite one. Speaking of favorite um, seasonings I use. Let me go back over here. So this is one. This is a new one that I've started using. I really like it. Um, to explain what it kind of tastes like, it's got a, uh, well, you can see here. What's in it? I'll be, pause that there and read what's in that one, but it's a really good one. And that vinegar and molasses really stands out and it works really good with vegetables, but I do put a little bit of that into my stuffing. This is another one that I really, really like using. Um, it's just a really good seasoning. And then this last one here. Now, if I'm smoking my uh, turkeys or meats, I still use this because it's just an additional flavor and taste, especially for cooking for a lot of people. It helps to go ahead and just add that in. After you do that, you mix all that together and then separate the two. Uh, typically, I leave it all in the bowl. I'll separate and have two big bowls of this stuff. Um, you know, look up dressing and it's fairly easy to find. Now, while, and this is all done the night before Thanksgiving, I then mix again the um, all the uh, neck bones and other parts into a bowl, add water, put it on the stove, let it boil, 
Uh, again, this is added some more today, this morning, because again, we wanted some more um, uh, broth or more turkeys. Uh, one of the biggest secrets that I put into my turkey is Guinness. And what I do is I first take the Guinness, crack it open, pour it into a, a bowl from way up here. This is just water. And that allows the head to come up. And then you let it sit as a good Guinness should for about uh, five or six minutes. Uh, and that allows the head to go down. And then you've got a nice liquid form so you can use this. And this is where you then suck it up. I put it into a cup, pour the Guinness into a cup, put this into here, suck up the Guinness. And then you come over to your turkeys and you start looking for the meaty areas and you push this in and then just inject the Guinness into the meat. Now this is again done the night before because you want that Guinness to get into there and to the meat to suck that up. I also add, I don't do this all the time, but I did this time. Oh, I don't have it. Where is it? Um, I've been using this salad dressing also. After I do the Guinness, I then pour this into a, um, into a cup, add a little bit of water, suck that up, and again, re-inject that into the, the turkeys. After the turkeys have been injected all over, upside down, all the parts and pieces, it then releases a lot of the juice. That juice then goes back over into the broth. And now you've got the Guinness and salad dressing in your, your broth. This, again, becomes your gravy. Um, the next morning, I then take the stuffing because you don't want to do your stuffing at night because you're going to put that, the turkeys back in the refrigerator. Uh, I take the cooked broth here and the stuffing and I mix this broth into that stuffing instead of using chicken broth. I did add a little bit of chicken broth this morning because I needed to get the uh, second turkey ready and I didn't want to use this broth since it had um, extra neck bones that haven't been cooked yet. But the un, the already cooked broth then goes into your, 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 your stuffing here and here. Again, make your stuffing as you like, but with this added wonderful taste of this broth. Mix that all together and then start stuffing your turkeys, as you can see I've already done. Or actually Father Zachary stuffed them for me. I stuffed this one, you can tell, because it's kind of coming back out. But uh, I'll leave it, it'll be fine. Because what will happen is that this turkey will cook and the juices from the turkey will go down into there and I can then suck up some of that juice, pour it back over the top for the next 15, 20 minutes, maybe even the next 30 minutes, I'm going to be basing or taking the broth that goes down into here and putting it back over the turkey uh, just to keep it moist for the first um, 20 minutes while it's at 500. Open it up, pour it on, open up, pour it on. Because you're also gonna have some of that olive oil and all that. So you're just putting that olive oil back on top of it. And then every hour I'll come and base the turkeys while wow, it's at 350. So that's basically how I do my turkeys. Uh, this, again, will come my gravy. Now to do my gravy, I just, um, you, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Uh, you, come on now. <laughs> you need to uh, use this thing, okay? Just use it <laughs> and, and clean your, uh, your broth up so you can get all the little pieces and things like that out of there. And then make your gravy as you usually would make gravy. There's plenty of recipes how to make gravy. Uh, typically, I just use flour and thicken up my gravy and I'm done. Uh, for those who can't use flour, there are other alternatives for getting your gravy thick so that it stays gluten-free and things like that. And the same with this. You can use gluten-free bread. Just make sure that that bread uh, doesn't dissolve to slime. So you've got to do a little bit of experimenting. Um, but yes, you can use gluten-free bread but just experiment with the type of bread. Just take the bread, put it in some um, water, see if it turns into just a slime, then don't use that bread. You can also, if you put your gluten-free bread in here, uh, don't add as much water moisture um, into this. Remember, this is basically like um, meatless, uh, what do you call it, meatless uh, meatloaf. So treat this as meatloaf with a gluten-free uh, bread and you'll be fine because that's basically what you're doing. I mean, it really is what you're doing. You're making meatless meatloaf. Um, that's what stuffing is. So.
That's it. I'll probably come back on with some other things if I can think of something else interesting that I do. Uh, again, this is a non-edit video, so I can get it out for you. I've been working on the roof. It's been like a, um, a three-week, four-week progress, and I just haven't been videoing anything. I'm hoping this end video will come out okay because I can't see myself. So um, I'm going to turn this back around just in case it doesn't look good. But uh, happy Thanksgiving again. I'm going to go. Um, I've already missed vigils because it's taken so long to get the turkeys ready. It's 4.45. Vigil started at 4.00. Uh, because we added that other turkey, I wasn't able to make it, but still, it's a it's a wonderful thing for the monastery when I can get in and, and cook for them, take my time. So it's better just to take my time, make it good, um, and not rush it, because I was going to just rush out of here, but then I was like, well, if my ovens aren't hot enough yet, and then I'm not going to be running, oh, 500, I'm not going to be running in and out of here. This oven's always cooler, but... I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, you know, it'd be it'd be annoying running in and out of vigils, trying to uh, get these things ready. So, anyway, thanks. I'll throw in some pictures in the community area on here on um, YouTube of the finished turkeys, or you may even see a live video later on. And I'm gonna finish seasoning these. I'll throw a little bit more seasoning on here. Um, I guess since I'm already recording, let's let's just. Sprinkle a little bit more seasoning on there. There we go. Got more seasoning on there. Yeah. There we go. Get that little bald spot there. Happy little turkeys. All right. So that's it. Need to clean up my mess. God bless.